Hello and welcome to a new review. Today we'll be taking a look at Chopper 2. The sequel to the popular side-scrolling Chopper game made by Magic Jungle makes his iPad iPhone debut. The app is universal which means you only need to make one purchase to play the game on both an iPad and an iPhone. The presentation is excellent and the graphics are above average and have some nice landscapes, some now with hilly terrains. The object of the game is to fly your chopper through 36 different missions that vary from rescuing civilians to escorting convoys. You'll actually need to navigate around birds this time around as an added obstacle increasing the difficulty. You have weapons such as a machine gun, missiles, and bombs to eliminate your ground attacking enemies. You'll need to land on the ground to rescue people while at the same time being careful not to crush them. Once you make your rescues, you'll need to drop them off at base by landing on the helipad. There are also now some bases throughout your missions that will repair your chopper and refill your ammo. There are three control schemes available. You can use the tilt control scheme which uses the accelerometer to control your chopper's movement, tapping anywhere on the screen will fire your machine gun, sliding your finger while firing will allow you to aim your gun which is a much appreciated addition. Virtual buttons will appear on the left to fire weapons such as missiles or bombs. You can also choose to use the touch control scheme which provides a virtual analog stick on the left to control your chopper's movement. And the same rules apply from the tilt scheme as far as using your weapons, except the missile and bomb buttons are placed on the right side instead. Then lastly there's the remote control scheme in which you can pair an iPhone with your iPad via Bluetooth and use it as a controller, and even connect your iPad to your TV to experience the game on a much larger display. My only gripes with the control schemes are that I wish there was an option to allow you to adjust the sensitivity, as there are times it will feel too strong to do tight maneuvers or when trying to land on a specific spot. It also would have been nice if the machine gun fire was disabled in some kind of radius around the analog stick when using the touch control scheme to avoid accidentally initiating the machine gun when simply trying to control movement. Overall, this is an excellent game that no one who enjoyed the previous Chopper game should be without. Check out our other app reviews, and as always, please subscribe to keep up with our latest reviews.